Hey my friends, welcome back for more Reddit stories. Today our stories are from the subreddit I don't work a lady. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's go. Touched by Satan. I've worked in retail customer service positions my whole life and frequently get mistaken for an employee when I'm not. I've gotten used to it and for the most part I understand it. Oftentimes it happens when I am running errands after work in black uniform slacks and the basic shirts I wear underneath my work logo embroidered button downs. I also carry around a large key ring of jingly keys. I can't really blame people under those circumstances. Anyway, here's my most recent interaction for your enjoyment. I was shopping at a large chain pharmacy on an unusual mission to spend a $400 health benefit card that was about to expire. It only worked on certain items, so I was having to spend a decent amount of time finding things that qualified that my household could actually use. Out of the corner of my eye, occasionally kept seeing the same little old lady. Over and over, I was catching glances of her peering down eyes at me. I assumed because of my outfit that day, it was my day off and I was wearing my punk rock adjacent street clothing. I'm used to stares and glares for even though my style has toned down with age, I paid her no mind and kept shopping. About 45 minutes into my mission, my card was nearly full and I was focused on reading fine print ingredients on some products. I hear someone's throat clear. I look up and see the little old lady. She looks me up and down several times. I have my hair in a messy rat's nest ponytail on top of my head, black and white striped drain pipe jeans, Doc Martens, and a black t-shirt with Touched by Satan in large print and an image of Satan touching someone on the shoulder with a speech bubble saying, Tag, you're it, causing them to burst into flames. I push my glasses back up my nose and look at her. She stares at my shirt. I stare back at her. She adjusts her glasses, clears her throat again, and raises her eyes to meet mine. We make prolonged, awkward eye contact. I'm silent, internally flinching, expecting to get backlash about my shirt, and finally she says, Do you work here? I am completely dumbfounded. Uh, no. No, I don't. Oh, that's, hmm, I thought you worked here, since you have a card filled with so much, uh, hmm. I was just hoping for some help finding laundry detergent. I'm sorry, hmm. She pursed her lips and looked puzzled and embarrassed. Ah, well, I don't work here, but I do shop here often, so I know where it is. Follow me, I'll show you. She made a sound like she was going to protest, but I strode off with confidence to lead her to the detergent. She followed. I pointed out the detergent section once we were in eye shot. After she spotted it, she smiled warmly back at me and said, Thank you, sweetie. You have a nice day. I wished her the same and went back to finish my shopping. After a 15 plus years of getting grief over my clothing choices, this confusing interaction warmed my heart. I do work here. Just not, you know, here. I'll start this story by saying that I've been in some form of customer service for most of the past 45 years. Yep, I'm an old geezer. In all those years, I've had more than a few ridiculous customers, including one man who threatened to kill me because his credit application was turned down. But I've never really had a Karen or a Chad, whatever you call a male Karen. Today I thought it was all about to change. I am retired and working part-time for a friend who manages a large discount store. Clothing, houseware, home decor, etc. My job is shoes. That's it. I process the hundreds of shoes that they get daily. I spend my days in the back stock room. On days when there aren't a lot of shoes, I will help run out the other stock. On this day of days, I was doing just that. I had a big rolling shelf, chock full of impulse buys, those inexpensive items that stores always put up front by the registers when it happened. There's a longish lines of people waiting to check out, and as I am rearranging a section to work in the new goodies, I hear a guy speaking to me. Nobody ever speaks to me. You know, you could jump on that open register. Oh, happy day, joy of joys. Today, I finally get me a Karen and a boy Karen to boot. 
I've read hundreds of these stories, and I'm not the shrinking violet that seemed to attract him. I'm a dick. Fucking with jerks is my hobby. I smiled at him. I can't do that. Uh, how come? He asked. Well, it's actually the same reason that you can't do it. I don't know how. I'm ready to go. I've waited my whole life for Karen or her husband. Today is my day. This is practically my big O. I'm locked and loaded. The man looks at me for a second. He's thinking of some smart ass comeback. Come on, dude. Give me your best shot. Actually, that's a really good reason. He chuckles. Wait, what? But, but, Mr. Karen, you're supposed to be mean, insane. What the F? Now I gotta regroup. I point to the three or four young ladies who were cashiering. They only have the young pretty ladies up front. They usually just keep the ugly old dude in the back. But I escaped, I told him. He laughs again. That's a really good policy. As an ugly old dude myself, I would much rather get checked out by pretty young girls than by another old guy. He gets caught up next. Have a great rest of your day, he says as he heads over to one of the pretty girls. Well, shit, so today's not my day. Damn you, nice old dude. I know you're out there, Mr. or Mrs. Karen, and I am waiting. My close encounter of the Karen kind. After work one day, I stopped by Wally World to get some very important things, but this was 20, 25 years ago, so no idea what it was. But since I was in the mart, it must have been important because I hate that place. My work outfit was pretty generic. Blue polo type shirt, black pants, no company ID at all. As I am passing by an aisle near the electronic section, I hear a woman bitching of a storm. I peek down the aisle and see some middle-aged hack chewing out what looks like a 20-year-old kind of goth looking girl. The girl isn't saying a word, just staring at the hack. I kind of ease on by cause I'm nosy and I want to eavesdrop. Apparently this girl is lazy, rude, disrespectful, a horrible employee who should be fired. But as I pass, Hack turns on to me. Are you her boss? She huffs. Madam, was the only thing I said. Uh, you need to discipline your employees. This one refused to help me. She's rude and lazy. Blah, 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 blah. She's really going off. I look at this poor girl. She just looks really confused more than anything else. And of course, upset. I tell the hack, okay, madam. If you'll please wait right here, I'll be back in a few minutes. To the girl, I say, come with me. The hack seriously just folded her arms in a gotcha now bitch stance. I wave the girl to follow me and she does. I don't work here. I tried to tell her that. But she told me to get something out of the bag. I didn't think you would want some random customer in your stockroom. I just want to get these headphones and leave. She seems like she's about to cry. I know, I told her. I don't work here neither. She looked stunned. I thought you were a manager here or something. I thought I was in some kind of trouble. Nope, I was just passing by, I said. So I walked her up to the registers and waited for her to buy her headphones. Then walked her out. She thanks me and drives off. I didn't even look for whatever it was I had gone there for. I didn't feel like seeing the hack again and certainly didn't feel like hiking the 10 miles back through the store. As far as I know, the hack is still waiting for me to come back. So those were the stories for today's video. But thumbs up if you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.